and welcome to Skydio Release Notes. I'm Mark Flam, Director of Enterprise Customer Success, and today I'm excited to show you what's new with the Skydio 2 and 2 Plus for Enterprise. Introducing Scout, a new flight skill that enhances the flying experience by enabling additional situational awareness when users are on the move. Scout allows you to follow and track a GPS position at long range, with the freedom to easily reposition your drone and its camera's orientation. Skydio Scout supports GPS tracking of the Skydio Enterprise Controller and Skydio Beacon. If tracking the Skydio Beacon, you have the option to lock the beacon controls. This enables you to mount the beacon on a moving subject without the risk of unwanted button inputs. For situations that require you to have a free hand during launch, you now have the option to launch your drone by tapping the battery button. Simply tap four times on the battery button to launch. If needed, you can cancel the launch by quickly pressing the button one more time. We've also made some improvements to existing features to enhance your flight experience. Keyframe maximum speed has increased to 33 miles per hour with Skydio 2 and 2 Plus. When playing back a keyframe sequence, you now have the ability to use your controller joystick to adjust the drone's speed. If you set your joystick input to absolute, the roll joystick input directly maps to the drone's movements. While you are pressing on the stick, the drone will move. When you let go, it will stop. Alternatively, you may set the joystick input to relative, which will allow you to use the joystick input to adjust the speed slider, ramping the speed up or down based on the left and right movement of the joystick. If you let go of the joystick, the drone will continue moving at its current speed. When performing a case landing, Scotty will now require one second of joystick inputs to unlock from the case. This reduces the chance of accidentally nudging your joystick and interfering with a case landing. If the drone does unlock from the case, you now have the option to select a case and continue the case landing. Finally, we've added the ability to customize the functions of the left and right wheel of the Skydio Enterprise Controller. For example, set your right wheel to quickly adjust exposure value compensation based on your environment. Now let's talk about what's new with 3D Scan. You now have the ability to save, edit, import, export, and repeat 2D GPS captures. After completing a scan, you may save that scan to your library. The next time you fly, simply select a scan in your library for that location and begin. Scotty will check that you are close to the scan boundary. If you are too far away, you'll be prompted to move closer. We've also added the ability to efficiently scan the undersides of structures with 2D capture. After setting the height of your scan surface, set the drone's height below that surface. When you begin your scan, the drone will automatically look up towards the surface. Finally, you now have the option to limit the maximum speed of your drone during all phases of a 3D scan. Adjust your scan maximum speed in accordance with your organization's standard operating procedures. We also have some great updates for our cloud customers. Stream live video feeds from your drone to Skydio Cloud for real-time awareness. Skydio streaming is viewable for mobile or desktop devices. You have the option to generate a live stream video link to share with people outside of your Skydio Cloud organization. Licenses are available for viewing on single or multiple devices. You may also view live locations of drones in your organization. Your drone's location will be displayed on the map for real-time awareness. Designed to help you manage your fleet of Skydio drones, you can assign a name to your device in Skydio Cloud. The name will be displayed on the Fleet Manager dashboard. You also now have the option to export a single flight CSV file with detailed information about the flight. Here at Skydio, we are committed to improving so you have the best possible experience with our products. For more information about this release, visit our support articles at skydio.com support. Thank you and fly safe.